Put it all the way up. Wait, are the uh, cameras right this time? Yeah. Nice. Are we recording now? Yeah, we're recording now. We're recording now? Now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Are we prepared? I hope so. I hope so, too. What we you gotta do this do? episode justice. Yeah. Luke, bring us in. Do you know why we gotta do this episode justice? Because it's Halloween? No, because it's number 85. Do you know what number 85 is? Oh, shit. What is it? Ocho Cinco! Ocho Cinco! <laughs> Ocho Cinco! <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's hilarious. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Ocho Cinco! <laughs> this I sub podcast out number 85, as you know, <laughs> from the great football player, Chad Ocho Cinco. This is the one I got, guys. <laughs> I got this one. I knew. Woo! We didn't have to pull up anything for this nah. episode. And in my mind, I was like, who's number 85? <laughs> yeah. and then Ocho Cinco! Ocho Cinco! I love, I love it. 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 Because it's it. Halloween. No, nah, forget that. That's Yeah, it is Halloween, though, guys. What's up? Yeah. Happy Halloween to all the sub listeners out there. Hope you guys are enjoying your Halloween, you know, getting your candy, yep. wearing your shattered backboard 3.0s. Oh, right. Which Luke copped. I got him. I got him. Luke got him. I got, got a pair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, Don't sound so enthused for your boy. Yeah, I know. I'm super enthused. This is like my enthused voice. You know, I don't, I pretty, I'm pretty No, monotone. I've heard pretty your monotone. enthused voice. This is nothing like it. Nah, I'm setting it up. I want to hear Luke's story. Why are okay. you, why are you, don't pity, mom and dad are fighting and I don't like it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not even fighting with Chris. I'm put him in a headlock. <laughs> so you got the shatters, man. Yeah. So we got, well, of course, let's introduce ourselves real quick. I'm Luke Trevisi. We got Chris, Chris Cheney. And we Lawrence got Lawrence Deloach. Deloach. All right. That's now. right. So I got the shattered backboards today. They came in today. Mm -hmm. uh, I was today. super excited. I opened up the box. felt It felt good to open up a box of Jordan ones again because mm -hmm. I, I don't that keep is my a good feeling. I don't keep my my Jordans in my boxes anymore. Now you got them loose. I just got I got them loose. Loosey goosey. So I just opened up the box and I was like, ooh, this this is a good feeling. And then you peel back the little wax paper and you're like, oh man, these shoes are so close to being fly. You know, <laughs> yep. so you are just like. I was like, okay, maybe they're not that bad when you take a look at them. You put them on, it was like fucking crumpled tinfoil? No, it didn't feel like crumpled. It felt good. On the, it, everything inside feels like a Jordan 1, you know? Mm -hmm. Everything on the inside feels like a Jordan 1. Um, they were a 9.5, and, and they're a little bit big on me. So I put up a, a, an, a, list, a request for a trade online. Ooh, see why, if anybody, you want a 9? Yeah, I want a 9. I don't know if anybody's going to want to do it, you know? But mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what happens. There will probably be people being like, "No, nah, that's stupid. Those shoes are whack. Mm -hmm. Nobody, they, everybody's just reselling." I'm them. a nine and a half. Let's trade. Yeah, yeah. What do you got? We don't have it. You don't have. You don't have. No, I'll give you. Uh, you've seen my collection. There's a couple things I could trade. Yeah, yeah, you have a couple things. Yeah. Okay, maybe. All right, we'll figure this we'll out. We'll figure this out later. Um, <laughs> 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 so, you, but you're you're not you're nine, a nine. Yeah. And you you're an, a nine. I can go nine and a half though. But what do you have that you can give Luke that would fit him? Yeah. All my shoes are the same all size. His, all of his shoes fit. We're the same size shoe. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. he can he I can fit an eight and a half into a nine. He can fit a nine into a nine and a half. Yes. Okay. So he's Asian white sizing. Yes. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Asian Asian sizing. I'm yeah, Asian, Asian white sizing. You're Asian white sizing. And you're <laughs> black guy sizing. I'm just black guy sizing. Give me a size twelve. God I'm bless good. you. God bless you. <laughs> size twelve. Giant feet. God bless you. Giant feet, man. So I was I was uh coming to the studio to record. We're in New York City. It's a little little damp outside, a little rainy. A little yeah. moist. Uh I haven't really seen I s haven't seen too many people rocking a lot of heat on the way here. No. Not too much, you know. I yeah. thought I was gonna see a lot of dudes wearing yeah, yeah, yeah. either the one, the shattered backboard ones, twos, or threes. I didn't really see much out here, no. but it's shitty weather. So, well, no, I mean, I expected more, um, like costume hookins. That's what I was. I was gonna ask about that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like what do you do? I like to like look at people's sneakers when they're in costume. Yeah, it's like yo, how do you put this whole thing together? Because the sneakers are very key. I think because they're it, key elements. Because yeah. they they either take like they either um. Enhance your costume, or they take away from your costume. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the whole point of the, someone's costume is because of their sneakers. Exactly. So, like, you know how many Marty McFlys are out here just because people have like either the hyper dunks or I mean, no one or that, the Roshis. Yeah, that, like yeah. no one wearing has the mags is going to do that. But no, like, no, no. But imagine, yeah, there's somebody out there, some fucking rich hype, some beast. rich hype beast out there has a pair. There of has Air to mags. be probably six total every year. 
Yeah, because like, I can't imagine more than six people be like Being wearing those on the mags. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> the max six people. The max six people wearing air mags. I wonder if there's a uh, a seller in China that we can talk to to get fake air mags. Oh, you can. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Man. I've seen mad fake air mags. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you go on Reddit, they sell. I mean, they yeah, sell so much fake one of one shits. Yeah, yeah it's, it's disgusting. I didn't really think about this, but is there like a best costume based on people's sneakers? Oh, I didn't. I didn't question. prep this. I probably should have thought about this more. Best well, the table. I mean, well, yeah, Marty McFly is probably. Yeah, that's pinnacle because you can't even afford those. Before the podcast, before you got here, Lawrence, we were talking about the Donatellos. Yes, the SB Donatellos. SB mm-hmm. Donatellos. Um, but so like that would be a sick hook into being a Ninja Turtle. Turtle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think you can get away with wearing uh like a uh, Yeezy, like a Red October. Or yeah, like, you know, dressing up, like, dress up like, Kanye, like like Kanye, like 2012 Kanye. Yeah. Oh, you have a Hennessy bottle and shit. Yeah, or, yeah that's or, a good costume. Dark fantasy. Yeah. Well, well, the Hennessy bottle Kanye. He was wearing Thames. That was at the VMAs. Oh, um, true. Thames in like a black leather. Right. Like, but if you up. did the red leather, if you did, did like the, the Eddie Murphy raw but red. Yeah. yeah if yeah. you did the uh, uh, well, I think you know when he wore his like Red Octobers and. Or when he wore Jeezy's or like yeah. Louis Vuitton's or whatever, like you could come up with different outfits and shit. Oh shit! Uh, you could be Wesley Snipes and uh, White Man Can't Jump. White Man Jump. Can't Jump. Mm-hmm. You could mm-hmm. be uh, yeah, Spike Lee. Do Spike Lee. Thing. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. there's a lot of shit you, you could, could just do based Jesus, off the sneakers. Jesus Shuttlesworth. He got game. Yeah. 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 Yep. I have those that yeah, he got yeah. games too. Or uh, you can just always just wear full Michael Jordan costume, the Bulls shorts, uh, Bulls jersey, and Jordan, Chicago Jordan, ones. Uh, or, you know, any any, any yeah. sneaker that he wore. That's true. Any Jordan, I guess, yeah. That yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. works. Michael Jordan. Um, You could wear Toms if you want to be a ninja, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You. Oh, here's an iconic one. Bruce Lee, Game of Death, Onosuka Tigers. Oh! Yeah, that's a that's a classic one. Yeah. If I see anybody who wears like the yellow jumpsuit and not wear the, the tigers, I'm like, what are you doing, man? Yeah, you fucked up. That's you the whole up. costume. That's the whole costume. Mm-hmm. It's part of the costume. Is there anything else on this? Or did it, mm, I'm trying to think. Forrest Gump. Oh, yeah. Forrest yep. Gump. Now we're just doing like the greatest sneakers in movies again. Just well, as I mean, costumes. I mean, those are, that's the notorious, you know, it's, that's, it's like, known. Exactly. Yeah. Where else are you going to find you like know. sneakers. Pre- prevalent yeah, that's what I'm in saying. like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know that's how we you know that's how we identify certain sneakers what movie we saw them in yeah. oh if you wear any tony hawk shoes you could be tony hawk that's a good cheat any of the skaters yeah you could wear mm-hmm. just any sbs you could be anybody yeah that's what i'm saying i mean we're if we're talking specific looks yeah like there's certain you know mm-hmm. that's when i respect the costume though is that you added got black air force ones you could be michael myers oh, okay right he wore bl- he didn't but you could. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? That's just, you know, an excuse for you to wear your black Air Force Ones <laughs> without being shamed publicly. <laughs> just, I'm just giving just you... a murderer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the only way. <laughs> That's the only My way. My Jeffrey Epstein costume ties in with the black Air <laughs> with Force the black Ones. Air Force Ones. <laughs> Jesus. All, all the hor- most horrible people <laughs> yeah, on yeah, Earth. Yeah, yeah. The, the tie-in with the sneakers is black Air Force Ones. Uh. <laughs> Damn, you just did them dirty. And I helped a little. <laughs> uh... So today is uh, Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow is All Saints Day. All Saints. And uh, why do we celebrate it? I I don't know. I'm excited to hear um, your segue into because, something. Uh, it says on <laughs> this Jesus day, all king. Catholics honor those who have entered heaven. All Saints Day is also known as the Feast of All Saints. It is celebrated every year on November 1st by the Roman Catholic Church and some uh, Protestant denominations. Yeah, Protestant. Yeah, and on the first Sunday, and mm-hmm. after mm-hmm. Pentecost, and Eastern Orthodox churches. Why I say this because we got a mother effing Kanye West album. <laughs> there we go. Called Jesus is mother effing <laughs> king. Oh yeah. And uh-huh. Uh-huh. and uh, we're, we're we're gonna talk about it. Let's talk about it, fellas. Jesus is king. What do we think? Well, you know what? Well, I because I already told you guys. Yeah. The album is a hundred percent not for me. It is no. not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Um, I said before it came out last yeah. week that I wanted like a hundred ultralight beams. Yeah. And I got like three and a half. Yeah. Up across the entire album. Not even three whole songs. It's you got like the portions of it. You got seven ultralights and no beams. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Um Your I, mom must love this. Oh, my mom loves it. I on <laughs> Sunday drives. Oh my god. Every hour, every minute, <laughs> she's fucking into it. 
Closed on Sunday, you're my Chick-fil-A. Yep. Hold the selfies, put the gram away. Yeah. That's fucking, it's Kanye. I mean, I'm sorry, Kanye, for cursing. Uh, but, um, <laughs> Is yeah. that why you were censoring yourself earlier? Yes, Because now, you, now you're a born-again Christian? Oh, I'm I'm talking about Kanye West right now and his album, <laughs> so I will not curse uh, because yeah. Kanye has told me that, uh, you know, I, I'm not allowed to. Uh, uh-huh. Right. Closed on Sunday, you're my Chick-fil-A. You're my number one with the lemonade. With mm-hmm. the lemonade. Raise our sons. So train Beyonce them in does? faith. Through temptations, mm-hmm. make sure they're wide awake. Kanye. Um, so you like this album? No, I, I <laughs> listen. I don't like. I don't love the album, right. but I can. I can put up with it. And when I say put up with it, um, what I think what happens is a lot of the times with Kanye, we've said this many a times. Kanye will drop an album. Yeah. And at the time, we would be like, yo, what the fuck yeah. was this wild dude yeah. thinking? All right. And it hasn't hit us with yay yet either. Yeah. But like, um, Jesus, yeah. when it came out, people were like, ah. I went back to yay after and, Jesus is king. Well, that's I went what back to That's yay. what I'm yeah. saying. And so, I was like, you know what? Yikes. Fucking yikes, man. So, yikes is good. Yeah. Yeah. So, when you, so I'm not saying that this is going to be. We're even going to put, because I can't put an album that's 29 minutes up there with, you know, like his early, you know, My Beautiful Dark Twisted. I can't do that. Yeah. But what I'm going to say is uh, maybe in in five years, maybe in two years, maybe Mm -hmm. in three years, we'll look on it and be like, uh, okay, like, you know, like The Life of Pablo. Like when The Life of Pablo came out, a lot of people were like, "Mm." some people loved it. Yeah. But I think that's just a Kanye thing. Um, I don't know if. If I'm really buying the whole him being Jesus, like you know, I don't a Jesus freak thing, or I don't know, or just I, him being Jesus. Because I feel like Kanye, yeah. what he does is he takes a trend or he takes something that he feels like he can capitalize off of, right, and try to fucking hammer it down, just like the whole, yeah, you know, MAGA. Are you thing. implying that he wants to hammer down our Lord? Well, I mean, <laughs> no. Stop trying but, to get Lawrence in trouble. <laughs> You no. want to hammer down Jesus, dude? <laughs> but <laughs> I, I just legitimately feel like it's it's a thing that you know he does. He does this all the yeah. time. We've seen this. We've seen the the Confederate flag, right. mm-hmm. Kanye. We've seen the. I think if if the Make America Great Kanye didn't get as much backlash, that motherfucker would have continued on, and yeah. he probably would have dropped the album. You know. With, you make know, Kanye great again, or make, you know, stupid. all all the songs would have been like, you know, Trump's the greatest, and you know, and and you know, my red hat. But I think yeah, yeah, no yeah. one just no one was fucking with my that. skin is orange and my wig is blonde. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, Trump said he liked the album. Well, yeah, I mean, Trump liked the album. <laughs> Trump's got to back him, man. But you know, I I think that's just who I think Kanye is. Just you know, he's yeah. going through that whatever keeps him relevant. Yeah, and if it's a if it's a God album or a Jesus album or if it's out a religious album, I feel like he's like, all right, this is something no one else is doing, and I can kind of worm my way into that lane. That's what Kanye does. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna come back and like this one. I don't know. I can't. What you mean? I don't see the album. Yeah, because it's not. There's like little bop to it. Like all the things from Yandi, like or they still hit. Yeah, like the tie ones or whatever. Like some of them still hit, but like. The super churchy ones, like I don't know if we're gonna come back to that and go like, yeah, this is good. Well, I mean, I think once again, I think uh, that's <sighs> something Kanye does. He he does it well though. He experiments and he does stuff that people, I mean, aren't doing. Like I'll yeah. give him that. Yeah. W- at least with this album, and you know what he tried. And I think, and now, I mean, like I said, I'm not a big fan of albums that are thirty minutes long. I think that's, but I feel like you know it, it's easy listening. Yeah. And um, I'm just not like I said. I, I, me personally, I, I I listened to it a few times, and I was like, "All right, cool." Yeah, you know. And that was it. There's no replay value. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Only so, the Yandi ones have any replay. Well, I haven't even listened to Yandi. Yeah. To be honest, with you. I know you keep telling me to listen to it, but I haven't. Well, if listened. you can find it, I was trying to find it the other day. It's so hard to find. Now. Yeah, yeah. Now it's especially hard to find. The one with Ty on it. On Jesus is King was on Yandi though. Okay. Okay. But then, like you know, we mentioned this before, but I, I Yandi's guess, not an official album. No, it's, it's like a a scrap project. Yeah, I guess it's like a whole scrap thing. But then, um, yeah, like we said it last week, but Nikki wanted it, didn't want to do the gospel version of New Body, so that that's off. And you, you haven't heard that song, fucking love. I love that one. Mm-hmm. Gotta listen mm-hmm. to that shit. But I mean, I don't know. You might be right, but I probably won't come back to this. 
No, I don't think I don't think a lot of people. I think you know, like I said, it has its lane. Yeah, it has. You know, it, people are in the car. Not everyone is yeah. going to stay in the car. Like, if that makes sense, people are yeah. like in the car. They're like, I, I can fucks with this. I like this. I like this. But some people are just like, I'm not getting on this ride. Yeah, I'm not taking this ride with Kanye. This the is, one. No, what do you got? Yeah, this is the this is the happy medium for when you're on a long road trip with your mom. <laughs> it's and, like the it's like when um the Jay Z and Lincoln Park came, album came out yeah and you're it, like can I play this one and they're like okay it's like not rap but it, it is yeah but exactly <laughs> when I uh I played uh I had like I had to drive out to Jersey mm-hmm. and uh I was just uh, dealing with the uh, the aux cable and my mom was like put on something good because you've been playing rap so I just put on some chance and she liked that of course you know? she liked oh, yeah, chance. chance yeah, yeah chance, she definitely. put on some chance and wait she was the like, album or the with mixtape. The album. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not the new one, the previous one. Uh, Coloring Book. Oh, okay. So that was, it was before uh, the new one dropped. And uh, she liked that one a lot. So this is going to be more stuff for the whole family to listen to in the car. Well, now, so, uh, yeah. let's talk about this. Now that, you know, he has the album out and he's now, Kanye has, uh, is releasing uh, merchandise. Right. Yes. Uh, 24 hours. That's what a lot of artists are doing, you know, at least with the whole Kanye, Travis Scott type of merchandise yeah. vibes, where they put it up on their site for 24 hours yeah. and, and you have unlimited, you know, free reign and you go from there. Um, so I guess they, uh, they did a, uh, I guess they collab with uh, Cactus Plant Flea Market. Yeah. For uh, some of the, uh, the merchandise. And, mm. uh, it's so bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's yeah. so bad. How did they think this was going to do anything? See, it, but you know, but right. it will. It will. It's going to do numbers. No, of course it will. But this is the this is the great signifier right here. So if you see anybody wearing that shit, you're like, oh no, you're just a herb. I think if you see people wearing it, you know, there's, there's a lot no, of teenagers and a lot of hype. They're herbs. Herbs. Yeah. I, that's lot, a great a lot signifier. Of lost souls. A lot of lost souls. Let's say they're not herbs. They're lost souls. I mean, I don't know. If <laughs> look, if you're over 25 and buy that and think it looks good, then you're a herb. Let me pull it up. You should have enough wherewithal to like have taste by now. Did you say if you're 25. Where, what did you just say? Prices on wherewithal? These. Where wherewithal? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> where 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 with all? Yes. The people? The clothing? <laughs> where all the clothing with the people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none of this is uh No, none of this is good. It's no. uh yeah. <laughs> I mean, what? You wouldn't wear that though. If someone gave it to you, Lawrence. You wouldn't uh, throw on the key. Uh, if someone Jesus is king. Gave it to me. See, this is a weird thing because, like, I don't, how many people are actually going to wear a shirt that says Jesus on it like that? Not ironically. Not I mean, what is cool though is like the idea of him penetrating like uh, the church market. Pause. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine some churches like singing some of these songs Sundays. Yeah, man. Like down the line, especially yeah. like when his legacy sort of becomes more of a memoriam than it is, you know what I mean? Like after he passes or whatever, they might be have like some serious <laughs> easy shit in the churches. Mm-hmm. It's true. There might be. I, th- I think that was the, that's the big thing is that every album, which is going to be interesting, when when Kanye eventually dies, uh, the discussion will be looking at him in like as a as a total. Right? Yeah. You'd be looking at his albums and everything, and every. F- there are clear phases to each, like, al- Absolutely. Kanye album. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, there, I don't really. You don't see that with many artists, and that'll be fun to look at uh, going it's forward. It's fun to look at now. What are you talking about? It's true. It's fun to look at now. Man, this shit um, is garbage, though. Ooh. This John 833 shirt, though. <laughs> <laughs> Drop everything else, guys. Kanye 103? Come on. What do you call that? A proverb? Like, the number thing? Yeah. That's uh, the only proverb I fuck with is Stone Cold motherfucking Steve Austin. 316, baby. You shouldn't be cursing. Kanye said we shouldn't be oh, cursing. Sorry. He also said we shouldn't have premarital sex, though. Yeah, well, we shouldn't. But I'm fucking <laughs> definitely having that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't come to Sunday service, bro. Me and Lawrence are going to go to Sunday service. I'm good. You're just not invited. I'm good. I don't need Sunday service. That's the other thing, though, is that I'm this, this album might be a whole ploy to kind of create an experience for his concerts, right? Because mm-hmm. when he, he goes on tour again, there's going to be a part of me that goes, ah, I kind of want to go see what's, what's up with this. You and know? your mom will be like, ah, I kind of want to see what's <laughs> going on, what's up with this. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll be like, I liked I liked that one. Uh, I did not like my Dark, dark Twisted Fantasy. Is he even going to do those albums, you know? Well, that's, yeah. I mean, right? If he does it, I mean, will it be heavily edited? You yeah. Know, in terms of will he Yeah. 
Oh no! It's like you just can't go from you know Jesus is you know my Lord and Savior to, to black skinheads. Come yeah. on, my guy. Oh, uh, to all falls down. All falls down. No. To stronger. To drive slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a crazy set. Yeah, so. This would be an insane set. I would love to see it live, but I do not want to pay money to go see this. No, yeah. well, I remember. I remember when he did the Life of Pablo. That's when I I, I went to see that concert live, yeah. and I was like, it was kind of like it was very underwhelming to me. Really? Because yeah, the way it was set up, it was a moving stage in the air. It was hovering, or hovering up. Yeah, yeah. So there were no guest appearances because I think you know uh -huh. there were no. Was that the one with White Jesus? I don't remember. There was one. There's like he got into a little controversy when he he did a tour. He did. He was on tour. I think he was in Chicago, mm -hmm. and he brought out a like a guy dressed as Jesus, and he goes, "What's up, white Jesus?" And then it might yeah. it might have been. He got into That's a hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. That might have been Jesus too. I think that was like peak touring Kanye. <laughs> why would he? Why, why would he do that? Well, I've been to Jesus too. I don't think uh, Jesus was amazing. Yeah, Jesus, uh, Jesus was, fun. was like Jesus a, was the mask. Jesus, was, yeah. Um, the yes. crystal mask. Yes. Yeah, 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 Jesus yeah, yeah. was the mask. Uh, it, it was also uh, people. He kept ranting. Uh, yeah. that was when he was going through his thing with uh, Nike and yeah, and yeah. Adidas. That was his. You know, no, I mean Pablo was the real Brant tour, but Pablo wasn't as ranty as as Jesus. Jesus was when he was having those 15, 20 minute rants about Mark Parker and all those guys at yeah. Nike. Uh, you know, he was. Yeah, but I feel like. Pablo's the one that kind of got him because everyone was like, "Oh, we're gonna go see him rant." Like when when you saw Jesus, everyone didn't want to go. Everyone didn't expect the rant. I thought, right? No, P people. The rants were, the rants were. Uh, they were. It was at the height of when his beef with Nike and Adidas. It was. It yeah. was the height of it. It was right. like Kanye was a, a free agent at that point. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to realize. So at that point, you know, that's when because that's when you know. Uh, black skin had had dropped on the on the back of a like on the wall of some like a brick wall i remember there was like a mm -hmm. there's like a whole drop for that and that was like around the time when he uh, dropped that uh beats one interview right? yeah mm -hmm. yeah that was all during that time and i guess you were kind of going for you so, were kind of going for the rants so you know, Jesus, for that one more so yeah because jesus was uh well, remember jesus was uh 2013 that right. was it dropped on june of 2013 mm -hmm. he goes on tour yeah and um and remember you know we he, i remember going to the concert it was like november of 2013 yeah and within that stretch he was beefing with nike beefing mm -hmm. like you know they mm -hmm. won't let me do this they won't let me do that and then uh february of 2014 nike releases the red octobers but remember how they released them it was just like hey the mm -hmm. Nike Easy mm -hmm. is now available, and that's it. And that was the end of it because at that point, yeah. everyone knew he was setting something up with Adidas, yeah. or he was in the the process of becoming a free agent and going to Adidas. And then uh, February of 2015, he mm -hmm. releases the 750. That was the first uh, Easy yeah. model, February of 2015 mm -hmm. at Nike. It was the All Star Weekend in New York City. So yeah. I mean, that was that rant. Um, Pablo, he's a little happier at that point. He's with Kim. He wasn't you know? the the, he the tour. Us. The tour wasn't. It wasn't a super success mm -hmm. because I remember there was like some insurance. Like he was canceling uh, dates. Oh if yeah, I'm correct. and then Kim got. Uh, she got. She got robbed. She got robbed by <clears throat> those French dudes. Yes. Yeah, that's like when he started to have his mental breakdown or yeah. whatever. So, do you? But sidebar, do you think those guys were all in like? Little bandits masks and like <laughs> mime shirts, just like oh, uh, we 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 are here for your jewelry. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> we will tie you up. <laughs> I want to do the exit with you, but I don't think it will come out correctly. Let's talk about the uh, the uh, hottest rapper in the game. I'm not saying he's the hottest rapper, but uh, Fifty Cent. No. Uh, who's Eminem. Doing? Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Who's, who's doing uh, the most uh, numbers right now? And Nike seems like they're riding the wave out with them. Travis Scott, uh, they just uh, did a behind the scenes on uh, sneakers about his uh, Air Force One, Air which Force is One scheduled is to release on November 16th. Yep. Uh, they're coming in full family sizing. Full Ooh, fan, baby. That's the whole family. thing now. They're doing full fan for everything. Full family sizing. Uh, thoughts on the Air Force One? It's cool. Trash. Trash. You don't like it? Don't like it. I thought it was cool. I, I'm not gonna say it's like an amazing. Oh my well, god! Like, whoa. Too much for me. I don't know. Uh, in the past couple, 
past couple years, you know, I mean, the past couple releases, I've been slowly getting more and more underwhelmed by the projects. Um, this one was is kind of the nail in the You're saying Travis Scott projects in general? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. I mean, like, you know, the Oilers, the fours are just, those are my favorite, you know, of, of the projects he's put out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... It's just I don't know, man. They're just doing too well. I don't know. This zipper's kind of. I think cool. they're cool. I think they're fine. The I zipper's like them. Kinda I'm cool, not saying they're like insanely like like whoa my god whoa, but like I like them a lot. They're fine. Yeah, mm. I like them. Yeah, I do like. I them. think they're cool. I'm not saying they're trash, but I just I don't like them. They're not for me. <laughs> they're not for me for sure. Uh, I I don't know what what's going on with all this. The purple and the green and the. This, these look like these are the shoes I've wanted to make my entire life, and that's why I'm hating on them, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. a hodgepodge of designs and colors. Yep. Yeah. Highest in the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like. I actually. I like them. It's gonna be obviously any, anything Travis puts his name on, or yeah. Nike decides to go with Trav. It's gonna be an instant sellout. It's gonna be right. you know the resale is gonna be super high. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's gonna be hard to get, and um and that's pretty much it. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Get ready really for much. your losses, everybody. Yeah, there's not really much to say. It's like, all right, another Air Force One, Travis Scott, a mm-hmm. lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of money. A lot, lot of money. That, those first couple of days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of, lot of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, this weekend, uh, we got, uh, as Nike Talk has uh, lovingly uh, named them, the Goat Mill um, uh, Fear of God ones come out <gasps> November second. Oh, the goat meal? That's the what they call it. The goat That's meals. hilarious. I love that. Yeah. Go- it's, I think it's. I think it's the second best colorway behind the the OG black. Yep. Uh, it's a yeah. beautiful color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right now, let's see. Let's see what's what is doing on StockX for you. Fucking. Yeah, pull it up. Oh, uh, <laughs> we pulled up. Uh, we put something on the Discord earlier. Speaking of the Travis Scott Air Force ones, we found somebody. Oh yeah, Luke just went to go look at these shoes earlier, and then <laughs> it said that like. A fourteen point five on StockX was like a million dollars, hundred million dollars, and it was the the, Travis the Scott, original Air Force ones. F- yeah, the removable swoosh one, yeah. silver okay. one. Yeah, hundred thousand. We were like, what? <laughs> for a size fourteen and a half. It's obviously some glitch, but like there should be. No, an that's option not a even... glitch. I think somebody put that up. There. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think somebody. I want a hundred million dollars. <laughs> you got to give me a hundred million. I love these shoes so much, and I have not worn them. He like Doctor Evil's it. He's like, I want one hundred <laughs> million dollars. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> no I, way. So yeah. Right now on stock, uh, I mean they're doing if the the retail is three fifty. Uh-huh. I mean a lot of sizes you can get for under six hundred dollars uh, for real. So when they come out Saturday, I, I'm assuming mm-hmm. you know you can probably take off another one hundred and fifty. Yeah, off of that maybe hundred hundred and fifty. So I mean if you're looking to get a pair of Fear of Gods for hundred or uh, five hundred bucks, yeah, it's a shot here. It's not a terrible. Price they're already at three fifty when they start. So right? yeah, after Since. New York City taxes, you're looking at three eighty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four hundred dollars now. Four hundred dollars. <laughs> you round up after that. Four hundred bucks. Yeah, four hundred. That's retail. That's retail. That's retail. That's nuts, man. Uh, I wonder. Speaking of, just like you know, the whole shoot thing is like because those the whole shoot thing. That's the whole show, man. No, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> 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 Speaking of shoes, bro, that's uh, the show <laughs> that came out wrong, and you uh, I've, attacked I've me for it. Of and course. that's the way it should go. Yeah, I'm proud of you, Luke. Okay, no, because Virgil's gonna that's put up those for. uh, 408s, the uh, yeah. the, the Avia basketball looking shoe. Um, and I forget what they were supposed to be retail, but I want to see what those do on the resale market. Well, w- those are the those are the ones that are gonna the 408s. Those are the ones that are yeah. releasing regionally. Did you see they're having those like weird regional drops? You talking about the Louis Vuitton 408s? Yes. Yeah. Let's pull those up real quick. Ocho Cinco. They're <laughs> no, they're regionally um, dropping them separately, but the only difference is the laces the and then laces. like the the little like satchel loop thing, the little belt thing loop. Oh, okay. I saw Don C with that uh, with the with the uh, Louis Vuitton like uh, the baguette thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now here's my only thing about it. What do the laces look like? Are they, uh, are they doing some special laces? Because the fear of gods, if you have any of those, they have a special yeah. kind of lace set to them. So if these have regular laces, which you know, very unlikely since it's Louis Vuitton, uh, you could just swap them out for whatever colorway you want. Yeah, this whole thing is weird. This is like a weird scam. Like why? Is, why are they making a big deal about the regional thing when it's just the laces? Um, maybe it's a chance for more people to get them. <clears throat> What's up with Virgil and laces? He thinks like laces are so important. 
Laces are important. They are think... important, but they're not like that important. They're not like let's just put the Seoul ones in pink over there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> Chicago this... will get red. <laughs> Scion will. It's Sh- <laughs> Shanghai will get Scion. Yeah, That's what I don't we'll understand. Do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird thing to for yeah, me to care yeah, about yeah. so much. I don't know. No, I didn't mean to take you off the um, Fear of Gods though, L. But since we were talking about like first come out, like when they come out in the first day in the market, like I just want to know what those do because like, th- like do yeah. we, which laces are gonna they want more? Like yeah, which, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's such a weird. What is more desirable? I don't know. Maybe that is a way to kind of throw resellers for a loop. I think uh, the. The, like the production side of sneakers is trying to figure out a way to just I don't know they're well, just trying to fix things this I guess. also this also goes to show you that um normally you don't see something like that with a uh, high end yeah sn- uh, fashion That's true. high end sneakers you, mm-hmm. so now it looks like what Virgil is trying to do is take something that is done in streetwear right. you know whether it's Nike or well, whoever Adidas and now he's trying to say well let's see if we can you know make something like this where it's regional and limited and yeah and we're going to take it to the quote-unquote high-end fashion yeah yeah I, I just don't see anything other because that feels like something that nike would do do you own any of the yeah. fear of gods uh, from the, the nike collection no i don't i had you the don't? uh i had the skylons and then i got rid of those okay all right you have the mocks right i have the raids oh the raids i had the, i got the mocks i, I returned them because I figured I could get them for cheaper. I am right. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the uh, the raids I've held on to and I've enjoyed them a lot. Um, <laughs> however, yeah, you've seen them. They're beat to shit at this yeah, point. Yeah, you're fucking like, running through the mud with those. Mm-hmm. I love those shoes. Uh, I will get three more pairs when I have money. Um, so never. But, yeah, it's, <laughs> it seems like it's going to be never. Uh, what do you call it? My whole thing is, the whole thing I bring this up for is like, it's been almost a year since Jerry put out the first fear of god right Mm -hmm. Uh, with the nike collection and as you can see the oatmeals are going down in value like they're not uh doing high numbers do you think that's because of the high price point to get in yeah i think it has a lot to do with uh that because with a retail that high yeah it's like and it was weird because that was like the fear of god one was his first release if i'm not mistaken right fear of god one was first release. that's the first release so it's 350 entry level for a shoe uh I don't know how familiar everybody was with. I mean, people are pretty familiar with Fear of God as a collection, right? Yeah, I think I, fair I, enough. I also I don't think it has to do with. The, I think the price point is it's not sweet. Three fifty is you know, right. obviously, but I also think it has to do with the design of the shoe. The right. shoe is a, a very high top, yeah, like bulky, pointy shoe. Yeah. It's not something that you know your everyday person. Mm-hmm would wear yeah. that's why the raids did so much better yeah because the raids are you know obviously they're more um it's it's like accessible it, yeah. not even accessible it's more uh something that you can wear and remember it's almost like when you see someone wearing Prestos chicago versus, versus yeah. chicago it's right. like it's like oh yeah you're okay, wearing yeah. like if you're wearing uh raids it's like okay cool but yeah, when you're yeah. wearing fear of god ones it's like what the fuck right yeah, what's going are on you? Today? so your hype meter doesn't like go off the charts did you just recognize it like oh okay there you go yeah so i I don't think i I think because nike has always had sneakers that are you know expensive i mean 350 is definitely it's up there it's up there it's one of the highest you know obviously Mm -hmm. retails that we've seen but i think people just don't aren't wearing that type of shoe yeah you know they are beautiful though I would love to. No, they're very pretty. Yeah. yeah. Very, very nice shoe, but it's it's also, like I said, it's it's something like uh like people always complain about the original Yeezys, the Nike yeah. Yeezys, where they're like, it's just too bulky or too high. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. that was a lot of people's complaints. And like you when they kind of made the twos, they made it smaller or they made it mm-hmm. less bulky and it was more um streamlined. And, yeah, and and I don't think I mean, look at the Fear of Gods. I mean, they're a pretty big fucking shoe. They're yeah. not yeah. They're not a small shoe when you when you look at the length, when you look at the height, yeah. when you look at the bulk. And I think that's why I just never caught them. Because I thought, you know, I was like, oh, these are going to catch on with people. But I think people are just yeah. like. Well, that you just can't wear that with anything. Like, that's a cargo pant shoe. Like, you can't throw on jeans and expect to look normal with Fear of Gods on. You know what I mean? Like, just the way things hang on them, it's a not. Like, because what you yeah, were saying, yeah. it's too high. You need something that kind of like will sag and kind of like. 
fall under its own gravity, like mm-hmm. under its mm-hmm. own weight. Like mm-hmm. if you have denim on, it's just gonna be like weirdly stiff nice and look sweat kind pants. of. Wear sweatpants with your Fear of God ones. Actually, sweatpants would probably go yeah, better. No, yeah, for sure. Well, that's why when you see Jerry uh, in in pictures, he's always wearing uh, like pr- like Fear God God like sweats and yeah like, yeah. You know, and, and it, it it you gotta be on. It's a basketball shoe, so it's not like uh, it's not like it's a. Um, but even in shorts, you'd, you'd be looking wild in those. Oh, you would yeah, never yeah, wear yeah. those with shorts. No, but like I said, you know, you have a picture of him courtside. It's like these are, these are. That's how that's how he yeah. is wearing them. He even looks ridiculous wearing them like that. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Uh, there's my my one friend has a story. He was uh when he was I think when he was working for Nike. He was like working an event, um, like a after hours event, and Jerry Lorenzo was there, and he was sitting in the corner. There was like one girl trying to talk to him, and he was just playing with the laces on his hoodie. <laughs> yeah. The whole time, just looking down at them, and she was just like being like, oh my god, blah, 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 just trying to like talk him up, <laughs> and he's just like, uh huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Just pull uh, it on the laces. Seems on brand. It's I don't very know Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the things I've heard about him, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. on brand. It like adds him. to the mythos of Jerry Lorenzo, where it's just like, yeah, he's a fucking weirdo, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I respect I, it. I think you can wear these with jeans. I mean, it just has to be the right jeans. Yeah. Why, you got dark pair of people jeans. wearing them with jeans? I don't know, man. Uh, They're tough to wear with jeans. Yeah, I mean. These, I mean, these are super skinny though. I don't yeah, see, yeah, it's yeah, got to be like I, you can't like because I'm '90s hip hop jeans. You know what I mean? No, like, no, no. So you, when I think of jeans, I'm thinking like Lil Nas X wearing some mm-hmm. type of pants with him. That's some leather it's, pants shit. Yeah. yeah, leather pants. That's the leather next pants. One. You could probably do skinny jeans, like maybe. Uh-huh. But I feel like you would have to tuck the skinny jean into the. F- yeah, you got to do that. Also, I would feel very apprehensive about wearing raw denim around those. Raw denim, I wouldn't wear. I don't because well, that would bleed all over them. Exactly. Raw's already yeah. stiff, and it would bleed on them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's almost like I think that's why a lot of people never really. I mean, this is. I think this is the. the that's ash. the look right there. Yeah, that's that's it, man. That's it. He's wearing sweatpants, gray sweats. Yeah. But it's like, are you? Do you want to buy a pair of sneakers that you can only pretty much wear with sweats? No, never. And that's why. Yeah, I think that's if why. I'm rich, never... <laughs> <laughs> if I'm rich, I do. If I'm rich, you wear. Yeah. Yeah, leisure wear, man. Let's see. Uh, LeBron James. Uh, LeBron James. LeBron, LeBron James. James. Uh, he had uh, his uh, red carpet uh, LeBron James 7s yeah. uh, re-release. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, are we a fan of LeBron retros? Yeah. Uh, I've never been a fan of LeBrons to begin with, but, you know. I've always said this. Once they started looking like Gundams, that's when I was out. That's when you were out? That's when that's, I was out. I thought that would be, that's kind of when I got in. Yeah, because like, that's <laughs> the Asian in you. Yeah, it's the Asian you're like, I you. know this robot shoe. I know this robot. <laughs> I know what this is based on. <laughs> this is based on all anime ever. Yeah, you know, like three fours, fives, mm. like the early LeBrons. Yeah. It's the same with Jordans, I guess. Like the earlier they are, the probably better I'm going to rock with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, uh, well, obviously, I think we always we always look at Jordan 1s and say, Jordan 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, or whatever, they're lifestyle sneakers. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think LeBron and all these new players, I, you just can't wear. You, you If you wore a pair of Giannis Antetokounmpo's to the club. <laughs> what, what was his last name again? Antetokounmpo. Yeah, he nailed it, man. <laughs> Greek freak. I think I did <laughs> yeah. nail it. Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> See, it makes sense. Antetokounmpo. You got to you got to do it with the Greek accent. Uh, Greek yep. freak. <laughs> did you ever watch did you watch the summer games when he was playing for Greece? No. It was the most exciting commentary of all time. <laughs> I believe really? it yeah. was. Really? Cuz the, the awesome. like the Greek team would just go ham every time he scored. Really? They, Antetokounmpo. <laughs> Antetokounmpo. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like someone's going to get mad about your accent. No, because it's accurate. Nah, That's it's why accurate. they'll get mad. <laughs> accurate. Accurate. Did you see the um, Did you see the IKEA Virgil collection? No, the I did not. Red? Tell me about Bro, it. Bro, you have all right. You have to go to Virgil's. Uh, go to his Twitter or right? his Instagram. What did, where did they post it? I thought they posted it on his Twitter. I thought it was his Instagram. Um, it probably was both. Realistically, dude, there's like a weird commercial. It's a they very have for weird this. commercial. It's got I don't know, man. It's really. Are you yeah, pulling yeah, it up? Yeah. You got it. I'm trying to pull it up. Yeah. All right, we'll cover you while you pull it up. Yep. But you know, it's all that like that uh, what, mastermind. What was it called? Like master something. Micro Mas- yeah, master class. Whatever it was. Mm-hmm. But all that shit was it's like in or coming out or whatever, and it's mm. just so fucking weird. Really, like the grass rug, Ugh. and then the clock that says like contemporary on it, but just no numbers or really? anything. You're like, what is this? I'm gonna take a look at that. Uh, like, I don't need my house to become a riddle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 if I walk into someone's house and there's astroturf on the floor, I'm like, what? What are you doing here? What is this? No, mm-hmm. I respect astroturf on the floor. It That's says wet grass. Normal. 
that the wet grass thing is like that's a little much. Um, um let's see. Yeah, it's like the, he's like. Did you see the the full size picture that is just an IKEA receipt? <laughs> it's supposed to hang to bro. This shit is bananas. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like he wanted to fucking like. Uh, no, let's turn off the volume so YouTube doesn't flag make, us. Make clothing for the Riddler. I mean, like uh, uh, for, whatever for the Joker. Anyone, any Batman any, villain yeah, that these are for. This is Batman. This is Batman villain stuff. Yeah, it's like what? I like the clock that says temporary. That one's that's very like high art. Like, oh, look. Is this is temporary or contemporary? No, it says temporary. In oh, quotation I thought marks. it was contemporary. It's, oh, our time in, on this earth is fleeting. Oh, <laughs> I love that deep stuff, man. So deep. They should submit mm-hmm. that to the um. What's that film festival? Uh, Sundance. Sundance. Well, win an award. It probably <laughs> would. Honestly, it probably would. Jeez. It probably <laughs> would. Uh, Do you have any thoughts? React, Lawrence. React. Uh, I mean, it's just a lot. It's fucking Virgil. It's too much. Everything's too much. Uh, the wet grass. I I would purchase the wet grass rug if it wasn't a million dollars. I might just do that to a, a piece of astroturf and just have that in my house. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then just like write on it yourself. Well, he's got a it. bag that says sculpture on it. I I think the point of his stuff is to get counterfeited at this point. I don't know. I don't understand anything that he does anymore. I, I Even don't... Ikea got on the bandwagon, though, and they're like, we'll put quotations they on the store. They put quotation store. on the store. We'll I... put quotations around Ikea. Oh. But that means you can you can use, quote like, non-Helvetica quotations. Non-Helvetica? Non-Helvetica? Non-Helvetica quotations. Ooh. Ikea has broken the barrier in the canon story that has Virgil Abloh. Now we yes. can use other fonts, guys. We can use other fonts. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw on a, a, a papyrus, a papyrus quotation marks. Really piss off the graphic design community. When do you think they're gonna come out with the uh, quotation box logo? Where they say it's just supreme, like yeah, well, it would supreme. Have to, it, would have oh. to be a, it would have to be an off white supreme. supreme collab. Yeah. Speaking of supreme, yes. See, how I just fucking transitioned. Segway king. It was good to transition until you brought it up that you transitioned. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You know why? Because. Chris does that all the time, and you point it out when he does it. That's true. Yeah, good point. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Balance, baby. <laughs> Libra gang. Checks in ba- what? Checks no, and balance. Libra gang. Here, it's Libra gang? actual <laughs> scales. Libra. Oh, all right. I mean, Libra gang. Are you a Libra, though? Yeah. Oh, well, that conveniently works out for you in this exactly. moment. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Libra you, gang. Did you cop? you cop anything? I didn't cop, cop anything, the, man. Nah, that statue fucking of Statue of Liberty, Liberty uh, North Face shit looks ridiculous to me. It's it's become over the top. Yes. They're missing a lot now with North Face. They used to be the most solid pieces that they would yeah. Yeah. collab most with. Most solid pieces, yeah. yeah now yeah. it's like because they're trying to do too much. Like, all right, so what did they do? They did uh, the mountain range one. The that one was nice from a couple years ago. Oh yeah, the mountain range. But I'm saying beautiful. the past like yeah. the past three years, it's all misses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, they yeah. had the rose gold shit that you, you ended up sitting on for a while, right? You mm-hmm. probably still have it. No, I got rid of that shit. You did. Good yeah. for you. Um, didn't they do like a map thing? You did a ma- oh, that was early. That was early. That was early. Uh-huh. That to me was probably the first miss. But this missed. I'm trying to think of the other shit. I feel like they've just been missing with North Face. Mm-hmm. When before that shit was like the yeah. primo staple shit. Yeah. Just like they didn't do too much. Just supreme on it somewhere. Solid piece. Yeah. Works great. Actually works outside. North Face's winter line this year is actually pretty good. Just by itself, they're doing pretty good right now. I'm just saying. Don't don't buy a supreme one. Just buy a regular one, guys. <laughs> All right, if you want to stand out in a crowd and look ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where yeah. else can you wear that besides New York? Ah, uh, I mean, you could, Oklahoma. I mean, you can wear it wherever, man. I feel like you're just looking ridiculous. I just saw a kid. Uh, I was I was on uh, I was in uh, over by Forty Second Street today. Yeah, in, in the Times Square area, mm. and I saw a kid. He was wearing the black. Uh, North Face Supreme that just came out today, and he had oh. some girl taking a picture of it. And he oh. was, so he was stunting very. He was Stunt. like stunting very hard, like it was a habit. And I understand. Uh, you know, he didn't look no, any older than twenty two. Mm. You know, he probably was a teenager. That's the hype year. That's, That's the hype, hype age. You know, and that, and he was in that. He was in that sixteen to twenty three range. The pre Jordan. He was yeah. young. Sixteen to twenty three are the hypest years. <laughs> and, um, hypest years of your life. <laughs> and I think you know, I under, I understand. I'm not saying, you know, me as a uh, man in his 30s would be like, I got to wear a fucking uh, Supreme North Face, but I get it. If you, I think what happens is, I think for everyday wear or for uh, like, you just can't wear that. No. But man. like, no. you know, if you want to, if you want to flex, yeah. you know, like I, like I wouldn't be shocked if a guy like Westbrook wore that in pregame. Oh, no, yeah. Me neither. Yeah. Th- all those guys with like ridiculous. Yeah. 
He could like, do that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. though, that's a piece because it's a, it is a it is a statement piece. Any any and I and I think the only one <clears> I truly genuinely like is the yellow one. I think all the other colors are yeah are ugh. like I'm you know the yellow is the one that stands out the most, and you're gonna probably say, "Wow, the red one is whack. The black one is no, whatever. the black one's cool. Black ones, I said black ones, whatever. Yeah, the it's red all one's right. whack. But the yellow one is the to me the most beautiful uh, one out of all of them. I wonder what makes him go with yellow versus like another because the, obviously the black and red are the two that they would go to first because the red box mm-hmm. and black is just an easy color. Mm-hmm. Why yellow? Well, Supreme always they they always pretty much do that. They take a they take their basic colors, their basic staple. And oh, primary in, colors, I guess. Yeah. Their prime, and then they'll throw in uh, you know, it's like for example, <clears> like you know, I, I remember the Supreme Fives. I remember there was. It was black, it was white, and then it was camo. Yeah, the yeah, desert you know camo. Like, there was, was like a yellowish. Oh, yeah, that or, desert camo. Or there was like like Air Max 98s. There was, you know, there was four of them. There was black, there was gray and red, there was uh, blue and gray, or there was red and gray, there was blue and gray, there was black, and then there was snakeskin. Like, yeah. it's always something. Yeah. There's always one color or like, you know how like you get box logos with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you'll get your basic colors, but then they'll throw in a peach or a mint. A you nice know? pastel color for yeah. you. Yeah. You know? So that's mm-hmm. I mean that's Supreme is that's their formula for years and it's always like, all right, do you want the do you want the basic staple one, the basic color, or do you want to say, fuck it, I'm gonna go with the yellow uh Baltoro jacket. That's your favorite though, is the yellow. I think the yellow is the nicest here. Yeah, the dude was wearing the black that I saw, but I The black's just cleaner. Like you can get away with having that big ass face yeah. f- on top of you because it's all it's like a black coat. Yeah, you wear that at night. It just looks like you have a Statue of Liberty on your body somewhere. I don't know. I just can't imagine being like in Tennessee and just wearing that. I I, I don't think it ever gets cold enough to really wear that. But just somewhere where it's just like, yeah. Why are you wearing a t- Statue so- of Liberty coat? <laughs> yes, somewhere <laughs> south where it wouldn't make any sense. Like in Maine. In Maine, I don't know. You're, yeah, you're in Maine, Portland, Maine. Just yeah. walking around, to like Portland, you know, check out my fucking. Mm-hmm. Lady face, just on you this coat. and Stephen King chilling <laughs> in Portland, Maine. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> so now we got the uh, box logos, bo- box logo bandana hoodies coming out uh, in December. Ooh, and those oh. are gonna be, you know, those, those are probably fly. Yeah, fly. how much? Are, what's the retail? Uh, one one seventy eight. I think it should be in that range. That seems high. One fifty eight. No, that. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's right, right. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's, Ooh. A, it's loud. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at that. Mm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't know, man. When are, when are we going to kill Supreme? When is it going to happen? It's not. It's done. 148 is the usually the retail looks like for a lot of these uh, box logos. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. No, I, it's not, dude, they're never going away. They're no. going to be around for a very long time. Yeah? Yeah. They've... they've Broken through so many ceilings that like they're ba- like they're not even the same dude. They're so high yeah. that gravity doesn't even affect them anymore. They're just gonna be out in space forever. They're mm-hmm. never coming down. Uh huh. The only I mean it will come down eventually, off of course. But, right. But there's no foreseeable. No foreseeable. Nothing. Huh. I'm gonna say something wild right now. Do it. Hot take. Welcome to the hot take hour with Luke Trevisi. <laughs> Five years. Supreme will be gone. No, you're stupid. I know. No, <laughs> I, I going nowhere, buddy. Yeah, twenty years. Nowhere, nowhere buddy. Tw- twenty years, probably. Realistically, um, twenty <clears> years. It'll... Yeah, maybe. I mean, <clears throat> when they've collabed with all the collabs possible. Well, no, because then they'll just like, bro. They've done collabs with themselves. With, yeah, with, they've done <laughs> collabs with the MTA and fucking the New York Post. How like, hard? Come on, man. It is to do a collab with the fucking MTA. Yeah. You know how many approvals? You know how much it would take to convince? I just get blown away by some of this shit because, like, I mm-hmm. couldn't even get fucking Dragon Ball Z to let me rotate Vegeta. Uh huh. They were like, "No, nope, you can't. You touched him. You can't mm-hmm. do." Like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah. To get the MTA card? Yeah. Nuts. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. There must be some sort of like back loop thing where, like, yeah, somebody's kid at the MTA. No, is a like fan they of probably Supreme. they probably like con- consider themselves like a. Organization or like or like a charitable organization or something. Flashy flash. Yeah, it's pretty flashy. The purple one is nice. Purple bandana. People are going to get shot. shot. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. Shot, shot, shot. Yeah, yeah, man. It'll all be worth it. <laughs> it was <laughs> for the hype. For the hype, dude. To, to, for the ill drip. <laughs> Just be outside. And look, look at my drip. 
bury me in this. <laughs> <laughs> Someone must have already been buried in Supreme already. Yeah. It, probably. What what would you want to be buried in? If you're gonna be buried in something hype, what would you want oh, to be buried in? Buried in something uh I don't know. I kinda, that you have. Oh, that I have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like, this is a very unfun game. Yeah, no, because now I'm like, what? I, okay, well then, it, I have no hype. Fine, really. Pri- price tag, no price tag. Whatever you want. What are you gonna wear? What, like in the casket? Go, uh, go, go. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know. You bury go first. Me, bury me naked. So <laughs> with, see a real with just G. the Jaspers. <laughs> with just the Jaspers. You see a real no, G. Lawrence over here going, yo, my body, the hype shit. <laughs> bury, nah, nah, nah. If I had a. Um, I don't know if I was buried. I don't know, man. If I could be buried in anything, yeah. I mean, probably either a suit or Tom Sachs. <laughs> yeah, my Mars man. Mars Yards. It's Mars, Mars Yards. yards I'm going to die. I'm going to get rich or die trying to get them. So <laughs> when I should have gotten them when, when they were fucking $600. All right, cool. Never mind. I don't know. Put me in some basics. Put, put me in some regular basics. ass shit. Yeah. Put me in all babe, babe camo. <laughs> I want all a babe, babe camo casket. <laughs> babe camo. Yo, if you got a babe doubt casket. Casket. Just the potential for all the stupid things you could do as a human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Just yeah. like, yo, because like I've people have asked me to like make people's patterns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, cause my boy, I don't want to say his name because I don't know if he still wants to co-sign this that he yeah, did this yeah. or not. He was like, "Yo, can you recreate the babe camo for me?" I was like, "Yeah, it won't take that long." Yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So I just like redrew it and gave it to him or whatever. Mm. He wrapped his car with it. Amazing. <laughs> really. Yeah. Amazing. And I was like, "Why did you? D- oh no, was it his car? It was like it was a vehicle. Oh, he had like a little, uh, mm. not like a go kart, but he had like a ill scooter." Nah, but it, w- it was like a four wheeler. Okay. He like wrapped his four wheeler with it, and I was like, "What are you doing?" And uh-huh. he's like. He's out in Canada. I don't know if I'm leaving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this dude in Canada is just out here, like, wrapped (laughs) four by four. I like it. All baped out. I would, yeah, I would love a baped out casket. You can put me in a regular suit, but. Maybe I should put that stuff on the Patreon or something, like all these patterns I've made, and, like, people can have the vector and just do whatever they want with it. Yeah, ooh, maybe. Maybe. If you guys want, like, recreated uh, patterns of the brands, just let me know, and I'll fucking put them on the Patreon or, or at least the Discord. Well, you know, we just dropped. Recently, oh yeah, there is a bonus episode now um, on the mm. Patreon with uh, yeah. Trey Hill of A Life New York. Uh, Lawrence was unable to make it. Uh, Luke was there, but you, then his <laughs> mic didn't record. <laughs> My mic didn't record, so it, it was, sounds like I'm like <laughs> blocking him from the back. Like only I can talk to Trey. Only I could talk. Trey was very chill. I did enjoy talking to him a lot. Yeah, he's a super smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked books and stuff for a little bit. And yeah. That was interesting. Yeah. So shout out to Trey. Yeah. yeah. Um, shout out to the Patreon. Shout out to Discord. Go on there. Do all the things. Those those uh those shoes they put out the. The A Life New York ones. Oh, the Nizzos or whatever oh, they're called. So nice. Yeah. No. Well, the ni- well, yeah, those are coming out later. The ones he showed us. Yeah. The pink and yellow. Uh, the white oh, and yellow. The, you're talking about the Newport style. The ones. Newport style yeah, ones. The Newport style. Those ones are, are nice. Hot. Maybe I'll trade my shattered backboards for those. Maybe. Yeah, I like those a lot. They're getting back into the footwear market. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> very good for them. <laughs> it seems and nice. Uh, very well, nice. We talked. We talked about uh, Trav. And shit, but uh, Kendrick Lamar has a pair uh, Element 55s with uh, Nike coming out November 5th. Really? I'll buy them right now. Yeah. I didn't see those. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I a nice little uh, marble granite situation. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I'm not mad at that. What are we thinking? Let me see these. This is, I, I get to react now. This is me reacting. <laughs> um, this is why you don't react. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reacting to Nike reacts. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, these are cool. These seem clean as shit. Wait, oh, so the inside on the other one is black too? I guess so. Yeah, no, these are clean as shit. I like these. Ooh. These are too fast for me as a shoe. Like, if I put those on, like, people are going to be like, where are you running to? Like, I just look weird in, like, streamlined shoes like well, that. Well, I'm on my feet all day, and uh, everyone in the service industry that I work, like, uh, that uh, are around my area, all wear elements. Mm-hmm. All 55s. They say they say they're very comfortable. When I was on the camp, like, because when I've been on the campus, a lot of people got those on. Yeah, because they're so comfy. I feel like I might have to, this might be a good drop for me. I might get these. That's interesting, though, that, wait, well, how did I know? Hmm? We talked You're about You're just him. not in the sneaker game like that, Chris. All right? <laughs> That's what it is. I'm sorry. I didn't know these were coming out at all, but I know he has an Air Force One coming out. That we do know. Was this just under the radar, or did we not? No, it's not. I didn't hear about anything regarding these. It was on the source. Okay. It was on the source, you the know. Number one 
source sneaker. for sneakers. <laughs> Number one source for sneakers is the source. The source magazine. I, I like the I like the set I like the um the idea. Yeah. The execution. I just hate the model. You don't like the model. I don't like the reacts. Oh, you don't like the reacts. Okay. No, I've gotten rid of every react I've had. I do not like them. It's two runner, right? It's too yeah, it's too it's just not it's just not a good it's not a comfortable sneaker. That's right. I have noticed. You don't like for comfort. You're saying it's uncomfortable. Uh, to me, it's just an uncomfortable sneaker. And you say I say they're comfortable. But I, have you tried them on? No. But you everyone you know says, says they're, they're comfortable. comfortable. But they're all Asian. Does that have anything to do with it? I don't know. No, does that have anything so. to do with it? Lawrence is black. Does that have anything to do does with it? Does that have anything to do with it? Who knows? Uh, who knows? Find out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. I like the bluish tint on the back, too. Right? No, those are cool. I yeah. fuck with them. I uh, will not... You will not purchase them. No, I won't, I'm not going to So you think those. Nike's trying to make more of a push back into like the running running game again? Like, yeah, yeah, I think they... Well, no. I'll, this is what I'll say. I think they've never really left. Right. And I don't mm-hmm. think they've tried to exit. I think they're just doing what they've mm-hmm. done across all yeah. categories. Mm-hmm. Uh, just they've, they've re-released the Waffle Racers. They got the Daybreaks. They got the, the Sakai collection. was, And then these are coming out now. Yeah, I wouldn't say they're trying to like re-enter the market. That's true. The athleisure is just a prominent style mm-hmm. now, so That's I think they've, they're capitalizing that by putting more athleisure shoes out, mm-hmm. and the collaborations will be more athleisure. Like, yeah. looking like you're going to the gym or like you're about to go fishing is the fucking shit right now. Mm-hmm. It's true. And I don't know where those Venn diagrams will eventually overlap, where you have, like, running vests, <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, that's what is kind of in the market right now. Gundams. Yeah. Eventually. Actually, no, that's kind of a good synopsis. It's like boot like shoes or fast like shoes. It's kind of the only there's no the yeah. middle is only retros. Yeah. Only the classics. They're not putting out any new mids that people are like going crazy for. No. It's like super high or super low and super fast. No. Uh Nike dropped the SB's uh SB lows, the mischiefs, uh, the trick or treat ones that just came out for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Um I want more SB's. Yeah, you're back on the SB game. I've been on the SB game. I just want to own a pair again. I just don't have any more. They're all destroyed. All yeah. of mine are destroyed. My Chun Li's are at my mom's house. Yeah. Um, my Chun Li's. Oh are no! Excuse basement. me. My reuse. I wanted the Chun Li's. I didn't get them. Mm-hmm. But nice. yeah, man. Um. Anything else today? What time okay. is it? What are we at? We did almost an hour. I think. Almost an hour. Um. Uh, yeah. I mean, we can probably wrap this up. We need to yeah, force yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. yeah Although, you know what? Well, before we do go, I want to show you these. Because we were just looking at these double two-in-one shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to see what you think about this. Cover me while I do this. Uh, also, New Balance is doing their own custom shoe collection thing. The Unmades, those are pretty cool. Oh, yeah, they're just basically ripping off Adidas. They're doing that now. That's something that you should look out for, folks. Uh, maybe make your own New Balance shoes. They're trying to make a push to be the cool shoe again. Again? First time. I don't know. <laughs> Good job covering. I'm covering. I'm doing my best here. I'm tr- I'm also trying to do my best. Google. Lawrence, how do you feel about uh, NBA? NBA has been going on. <laughs> how do you feel about the, uh, your Lakers right now? Lakers are looking good. Uh, are you I'm gonna also, switch over to the Clippers? No. Uh, I was also I was gonna talk about. It was a big fight last night. Yeah. Between Joel and Embiid yeah. and Carl Anthony, Anthony Towns. Big cat. Big cat. Cat versus. <laughs> oh, Embiid. what happened? I didn't hear about this. You didn't hear about no, it? No, no, no. What happened? Tell me. Break it down. Scrap, bro. Two, two guys who are um, or seven feet tall <laughs> yeah. pretty much fought. Fought. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Embiid dude. tried to. He poked. Uh, he had his thumb in uh, Cat's eyes. And uh-huh. Cat was about to fuck Joel and beat up. Uh-huh. And Ben Simmons had uh, Cat and. Fucking Ben Simmons was in the middle of that. Well, he was in the middle of it. Yeah. And, um,. And you know, I think both of those guys got suspended for two games. Yeah, yeah. Which I understand. You know, it's you know the NBA is you know I think they're doing a better job at um, disciplining the players, if that makes sense. Where, yeah. You know, maybe five years ago they would have gave them eight games. You know. And yeah. Now it's just like. Um, it's yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not as uh not as they're a little bit more lenient now. Mm-hmm. Are we gonna see more fights in the NBA, people? What do we think? I would love that. Oh, I found it here. Oh. Mm-hmm. No, this is this interesting to me because we've seen uh, we covered that Vibram Soul. Oh my that, god! <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, let me let me explain here. We covered that Vibram Soul where you can just put it on another shoe to make mm-hmm. it look like that Balenciaga shit. Mm-hmm. So these guys, so that's what it is. The shoe, the the dress shoe is actually inside of the shoe here. Yeah. So that's what it looks like when you got like the armor on it or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Right. But then you you can take it out and you just have like a nice dress shoe. Oh, that's for $1,175. Which, actually, in the grand scheme of things, so you're paying for two shoes, essentially. Yeah. 
five hundred dollars for a sneaker that's not that great. Which people do all the time currently. Right, 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 right. right. That is a ridiculous Where's price tag, lie? but it's not a ridiculous price tag in the space that we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. I just thought it was interesting because like that's actually kind of cool. You go from like a regular dress ass shoe to like some fucking Here's my problem with it. You Th- go from um, finance to then like punk rock. Mm-hmm. Here, here's my issue with it though. What? The dress shoe is on the inside. Yeah. If we could do the dress shoe on the outside, because I want the comfort of sneakers. Oh, you want the you want the Jordan on the inside? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the Lunar on the outside? Exactly. Or not the Lunar, the Kohan on the outside. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because then it would be the comfort of a sneaker with the sna- with the snazziness. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> with the snazziness of a of a dress shoe. No, but it seems like some people are fucking around with like putting s- shoes inside of shoes and making new shoes. Mm-hmm. We're going to have like a transformer shoe eventually. 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 And that's what brought brought you from Gundam to Okay, I see the the thought pot process. I like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my see God. what I did there? Mm. Bring yeah, it all back. Bring it all back. This yeah, this is a very punk like shoe. You're right. It's very yeah. No, it literally goes like I'm I'm a curb stomp you. Oh, I was looking about to say, at a metal show. Yeah. Do you do you think? So you, then I'm gonna b- make an investment. Do you think my stomps would be more powerful with two shoes inside of them? I think you need all the extra weight you can get. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at, man. Bring these to a rock show, and then I will be the curb stomper. Look at me, I'm the captain now. You know I'm, I'm the captain now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's it. I just wanted to show you that and see you. I wanted you to react mm-hmm. to that. Uh-huh. Um, and his in- initial reaction was, ugh, you heard it here first. You heard it here. He said, ugh, like he push. Said, ugh. Um, <laughs> but that's it, I think, right? We're good? That's it, man. LZD325, uh-huh. Trevisus, Not That Cheney, uh, Sub Podcast NYC. You can email us, text us. Oh, we did have a voicemail, actually. Do you want to play the voicemail? Yeah. It's like sure. inaudible. And then we'll get out of here. Oh, it's in, if it's inaudible, why play it? Because he's talking about. I don't. Right, never mind. If right. it's inaudible, I mean, if it's if you, if no one can understand <laughs> it, then why or maybe we, you guys can hear. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> No, it's gonna be uh, one of those Chinese uh, auto tellers. Oh my god, <laughs> Chinese. <auto-tellers. laughs> Chinese auto tellers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, those auto auto play messages. Is you, it even can you playing? Guys hear that? Oh, no. Shit. Nope. Pump up the volume. Oh shit! Hold up. You hear this guy? He's like, "Yo, fucking." Uh... Kanye West released for Jesus. Kid. Hey, yo, this is fucking uh, J- Jimmy. Jimmy James. I fucking hate. Uh, fuck the socks. <laughs> that Kanye West released for Jesus. He's mad. He's upset. He's upset about the socks from Kanye West. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's upset because they look like a Microsoft Paint drawing. And mm-hmm. that's the show, guys. That's oh, it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Oh no. What do you got? Oh. Why won't it play it? Hold on. Oh. Uh, I think I know what you're doing. <laughs> now my shit won't play. Oh no. This is a poor dismount, guys. Oh no, no, it's not a poor dismount. We we got um, come check out the Discord. We're chilling in there all the time. Come check out the Discord. Come check out our new monthly show that's going to be every last Tuesday of the month. Yeah, me, Lawrence, and Luke are essentially the hosts of the show. Um, so come for us. We're gonna have our friends, previous guests booked, um, people that you might be familiar with if you're familiar with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there we go. Yeah, I was just trying to play the Asian lady uh, who calls uh, <laughs> fucking the scam lady. Oh. Um, Hold up. Matter of fact, nah, we, we going out on that. Hold up. Yeah, we'll go on that. I, I can fill the time. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I have 45 text messages for some reason. You have 45? That's pretty alarming. Oh, I have a new match on Tinder. Ho <laughs> ho! Oh, Ree's looking for you. Why don't you fucking... What? Oh, okay. Email oh, her. Oh, email her. Jesus. Uh, Luke's doing that hot ones thing again next week. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. So for, I need the money. <laughs> for so for I don't know if we're supposed to talk about this, but it's probably fine. Yeah. But me and Luke have been helping uh the hot ones uh like complex show uh develop into a TV show. So we're like helping them like go through the runs, play the game, see if like the questions work and see if like uh the wings are like at the right temperature. And Luke's doing that tomorrow. I'm not because I'm going back to Boston. Uh, but I wish I was. <laughs> not doing it, but I need the money. Bup, bup, bup. Gonna be available. Yeah. Um, Lawrence, what are you doing? 
Uh huh. She's mad about <laughs> the Jesus is King merch too. <laughs> uh huh. We just got this. Okay, let me translate for yeah, you. Yeah, what is she saying? So she's saying that Cynthia should know better than to co- collab with Kanye. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy And on that note On that motherfucking note What what episode was this? 85 Ocho Cinco <laughs> Ocho Cinco <laughs> right, Bye guys Later Oh boy That was wonderful That was great That was great Lawrence That was great You're doing a good job buddy I'm doing a good job Thank you You're, you're doing too. a fucking fantastic ass job Is it